Hi, I'm Dave Kelly, professional speaker, author, trainer, and coach. I'm the author of a book called The Sermon on the Mount, The Greatest Motivational Speech Ever. It's a book about Jesus as he delivers his Sermon on the Mount on the shores of the Sea of Galilee with the masses surrounding him. In this book, I work to bring that story to life, bring that speech to life for all of us as though we're sitting right there with him. And in these videos, I'm sharing thoughts and ideas based on the book and on the Sermon on the Mount as Jesus delivered it. This video is about Matthew 21 through 22. And Jesus said, you have heard that our ancestors were told you must not murder. If you commit murder, you are subject to judgment. But I say, if you are even angry with someone, you are subject to judgment. If you call someone an idiot, you are in danger of being brought before the court. And if you curse someone, you are in danger of the fires of hell. Surely Jesus never contemplating driving in Atlanta traffic. I have lived in Atlanta for over 30 years, and I must admit that everyone who drives on the roads here is an idiot. Except for me, I am the only sane one. They make me slam on my brakes or quickly change lanes when they do something that I don't like, or I have to honk my horn in order to get them moving. When I finally pass them, I usually end up just glaring at them and shaking my head. They are so oblivious to how badly they are driving. Of course, they never do hear me. Most of them never even see me glare or shake my head. In most cases, they continue on their way, never knowing how angry they've made me. I would never actually kill or harm them. Uh, they do make me angry, of course, but it seems to me that they should be condemned to hell for their poor driving. Wait, every time I call them an idiot or other choice names, am I risking judgment and condemnation? When I curse them, am I in danger of the fires of hell? That doesn't seem fair. Maybe it's the things that we do and say that is most important, not what others are doing that causes, to, causes us to have a reaction. The reactions I described do not uplift others. They do not help build God's kingdom. They do not improve the world, and they only serve to increase my stress level and my blood pressure. It's not just about how we react when we drive. It's our interpersonal relationships at work, um, what we do on social media, how we respond to others that can actually lead to condemnation for us. We take ourselves down a path that is the exact opposite of positive or motivating. Frustrations happen. How you deal with them is up to you. Reflection. What do you do when you are angry or frustrated? How about when you've been wronged by somebody else? Write down in a journal or in your Bible or on a notebook some of those times that you were wronged by somebody or that you got frustrated. And then next to that, write down how you reacted. I would love for you to have a copy of my book, The Sermon on the Mount, The Greatest Motivational Speech Ever. You can use the QR code. Uh, just point your device with a camera, tablet, phone, whatever, and it should open up the link on your device and you can order as many books as you want. $10 a piece, that includes shipping, and I'll sign every book for you. I'll even sign them to people if you want to give them to gifts or, of course, to you. You can also use this link right above my head and it'll take you to the same place where you can purchase copies of the book. I'm Dave Kelly, professional speaker, author, trainer, and coach, and I appreciate you joining me for this Monday on the Mount. I look forward to seeing you again.